Hello everybody, welcome to the channel, Talking with Jay Spring. I'm your host, Jay Spring, giving you a video today which I'm sure many people are interested in. This is ranking the worst jokers to the best. Now, before we go straight into the video, I want to thank everybody that supported me so far. And if you are new here, please hit that subscribe button, hit the bell. You will not be disappointed in the, the stuff you see on this channel. There's a lot more stuff like this. Yesterday, for example, I ranked the worst Batman to the best Batman. So if you're interested, interested in that, links will be in the description. And also, there will be a reaction trailer, which I did yesterday, to the Punisher Series 2. The, the, the trailer that was released on Netflix and YouTube. Um, I basically reacted to that, so go ahead and check that out. There's links in the description. You can check on the channel but please make sure you subscribe hit the bell um, and also if you enjoy this video please do smash the thumbs up let me know i'm doing a great job because then it lets me know i'm doing a good job and i can do more content just like this one um, without further ado guys we go straight into the video now we all know the joker is such an iconic character in the batman franchise sometimes without that uh, without the joker you can't really think of the batman because he's literally the villain in Batman that we all love, we all care about. Now, of course there's other villains in there. Later on I may do a video ranking the best Batman, uh, the worst fat Batman villains to the best. So if you're interested in that, hit the thumbs up and comment down below. Let me know you're interested. Um, but without further ado, I've ranking, I'm ranking from 8 to 1. Um, there's, there's more than 8 Jokers out there, but I don't personally know all of them. I picked 8 because I think these are the best ones um, that I can really rank in the rankings. Um, so without further ado, we go straight into to number eight. Now, forgive me for pronouncing this wrong. Um, this is Zach Galifianakis. Um, I could have pronounced that wrong. This is the guy who plays the Joker in the Lego Batman movies. Now, I have to give this a bit of leeway because it's trying to do something different to what the other movies are doing. Now, this is a co comedy take on the Joker. Now, we have to also take into account this is a kids' movie. Um, we have to also take into account that it's an animated series as well, so it's not live action. Um, so that is why this is at number 8 on the list. Uh, I still think he done a good job as the Joker. I still think he could have done better. But um, for a kid's movie and that he did make me laugh. He was a fun Joker. And really for a kid's animated movie, I don't expect a lot more from him. And um, Coming in number 7 is the one which a lot of people hate on and do not like. is Jared Leto from the Suicide Squad movie. Uh, Jared Leto I feel really sorry for. Personally, just because, like in my last video, I was talking about Ben Affleck as Batman, I feel like he's had the similar treatment. Jared Leto hasn't been given a movie where he can just play the Joker. I think in the Suicide Squad, he played a really good Joker, and I think he could, if he had more time and more movie airtime, I think we could have had a really good Joker on our hands. I think he could have been up there further on in the list. Um, I think Jared Leto has got the skill set, the acting skill set, to do a great Joker job. Um, the only things obviously let him down is the way he looks. I think like the green hair and all that, that's great. But all the tattoos and all that, I don't think that's the way we want to see Joker. We want to see Joker, the psychopath who basically shoots everything and, and plays games. and just it, it, That's the Joker we want to see with Harley Quinn. Um, so I think Jared Leto could have done a better job if given... The right script, the right movie, and the right airtime. Uh, coming in number six, we have Cesar Romero. Now, this is the TV series Batman from the 60s. Uh, we also have to give this a bit of leeway because, obviously, it's in the 60s. The time making this series, um, it was a lot different back then to what we've got now. But he done a great job as the joke. He was funny. He was evil, conniving. The way he looked, obviously... He was, I think he was quite old when he was actually making this. He was, I think he was in his 60s or something like that. Um, he was quite old. Um, and playing a physicality part of when he was fighting Batman didn't look the part because he's obviously his age, which let him down. But in terms of the voice and the evil side of him on the 60s show, I think he'd done a great job. I think there's a lot more that could have been improved back then, but obviously back then a lot of stuff could have been improved. But that doesn't mean to count him out as one of the best Jokers. Coming in at number five, it is Troy Baker. Now, Troy Baker was the voice of Joker in the Arkham Origins game, which was released all over the consoles. Um, I remember this guy because, obviously, I played all the games. I'm a big fan of all the Batman games. And this guy really voiced him really well. He'd done the laugh really well. At first, when I first played it, I thought he was another voice of another Joker coming up in the series. I'm sure you all know him. Um, and uh, yeah, I just think I thought he'd done a great job. Um, obviously, we have to put this further down because it's not 
like a live film. It's it's an anime. It's a, it's an animated game, and we have to treat it as just a voiced, not a live action performance. So, if this was him doing a proper film and done what he did in this with the voice, I would I would definitely consider it being higher. Um, but because it's just a game, we have to lower it down in the list. Coming to number four, we have Cameron Monaghan. Now, I hope I pronounced that right as well, because this is the guy who I really do really do see the future of, as joke, Joker. Obviously, we've got Joaquin Phoenix, who is not in this list, uh, coming up because we haven't seen nothing from him apart from a few little clips and that. Um, but this guy is great. He was in the Gotham TV series I'm a big fan of. There's a new Series 5 coming out in the next couple of weeks, I think, um, which I'm definitely looking forward to. This guy, now Joker to a T, especially later on in the series. As I said, with Gotham, you have to give it a bit of a chance because it grows characters through this series. It don't start off with, oh, the Joker, with the Batman. They grow characters to become what they really are in like we we know them like the joker really is he come becomes that in the later series and really smashed it out of the park if I'm personally on personally honest and perfectly honest for a a young person as well I think he did a great job um I think they could have made him look a little bit better personally I think he could have looked better um but in terms of the whole evil the laugh the way joker is he nailed it to a T now we're going into the top three, guys. Uh, basically, if you enjoyed this video so far, please smash the thumbs up. Do not forget that. And also, yeah, just enjoy, guys. Comment down below as well your thoughts on your best jokers and worst jokers. Maybe do your own list and let me know what you think from the worst to the best of jokers. And let me know if you agree or disagree. Uh, now, coming at number three, guys, we have Jack Nicholson. This was from the Batman 1989 movie. I remember this movie very, very well because of this character alone. Um... He completely smashed it out of the park. He was one of the best Jokers, in my personal opinion. Um, and he he looked the part. He laughed the part. He he's just a cra He can play a crazy character perfectly. That's just the right way of saying it. He's from The Shining. We know he can be a crazy person and act so well. He does that in this movie. He smashes it out of the park. Uh, the only thing again is with age. I think age affected him. Um, because he couldn't do the fight scenes as well. Um, but if without that, I think he could have been probably one of the best. Like, oh, he was already one of the best. He could be the best Joker that we had. But um, that's the only thing I can personally say. And phys physique and stuff, that's really that's really all I can really say about Jack Nicholson as, uh, as the Joker in Batman 1989. Uh, coming to number two. Now, let's, let's just take a second to say these top two were very hard to rank because... Both of these are personal favourites of mine, and basically I was fighting with first and second. I was swapping it and swapping it and swapping it, and I've just had to go with my gut. Uh, coming in number two is Mark Hamill. Now, Mark Hamill done the Batman animated series. He also done the film, I think it was The Phantom Menace, if I, if I remember right, something like that. Um, he done, he, he, he is, it's like, he is the Joker. His voice is the Joker. He, I know he's, in, he's been in Star Wars, he's known for Star Wars, but he is the Joker. There's no doubt about it. He, he nails the voice to a T. In all the Batman animated series episodes I've seen, it's just unbelievable. And you still get him now in interviews doing the Joker voice because he lives and breathes that character. Just like he lives and breathes the Luke Skywalker character. He, that is just Mark Hamill. And it's like when you think of the Batman voice in the games and the animated series, you think of the guy who done that. If you want to go ahead and check that out, as I said, Batman ranked from worst to best. There's links in the description and on the channel. Um, I talk about that character quite a bit as well. Um, Mark Hamill just smashed it out of the park every single time. He's unlucky to not finish first. But also I have to take into consideration, again, this is an animated series, not a live performance. So coming in number one, you guys all know what character it is. It is Heath Ledger from the Dark Knight film. Now, another thing that edges this forward is that this guy had... The likes of Mark Hamill, Jack Nicholson, and Cesar Romero as well, up there as the best Jokers. Now, he's come from films like A Knight's Tale, Patriot, which are all good films, don't get me wrong. But he was an, a mediocre actor. He's come from there and completely smashed out of the park in the Dark Knight film and gone, do you know what, I know you guys are the best Joker, but I'm going to do you one better. Now, I admire that. I admire... Being the best and beating the best. That's what I admire. He's done that in this film. He risked his own life in this film as well. Obviously, R.I.P. 
Heath Ledger as well. Um, I think he nailed the character to a T. When I think of the Joker, I think of Heath Ledger. I think of Mark Hamill. I think of Jack Nicholson. I don't think of the old ones, per se. I don't think of a Jared Leto. Even though they were great, I think of mainly Heath Ledger. He made the character. He lived and breathed the character, just like Mark Hamill did. Um, and I think we're definitely missing a great character right now. Because if he lived on, we'd have a lot more great Joker movies. We wouldn't have had the Jared Leto and Suicide Squad. Maybe we would have had a Heath Ledger in there. That would have been a lot more cool. Um, but that is pretty much it, guys. That is the list ranked from worst to best of the Jokers. I hope hope you guys understand the list. Let me know in the comment section down below your thoughts on the worst of the best Jokers. Don't forget to check the description for the other links to other great videos or check the channel. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the bell as well. You don't want to miss any videos uploaded. There's a lot more coming your way just like this one. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up if you enjoyed this as well. Thank you very much, guys. I'll see you next time on Talking with Jay Springer.